the concept of falling into a black hole has long been associated with the notion that gravitational forces would stretch a person out, like spaghetti, although this grim fate would occur before reaching the singularity. Contrary to popular belief, black holes don't actually suck objects in a vacuum-like manner, rather, objects succumb to their gravitational pull just as they do towards any massive entity, such as Earth. The identification of black holes traces back to objects like Cygnus X-1, and a pivotal moment arrived in 1974 when physicist Stephen Hawking bet against the idea of a black hole's existence, ultimately conceding defeat in 1990. Intriguingly, miniature black holes might have emerged shortly after the Big Bang, formed by the compression of expanding space, potentially smaller than our Sun. Stellar interactions with black holes can lead to stars being torn apart, while binary black holes, two merging stellar black holes, were first observed in 2015 through the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO. These binaries form either from stars born together or black holes congregating at the center of a stellar cluster. The possibility of intermediate-sized black holes has expanded our understanding, suggesting they could arise from the chain reaction of star cluster collisions, and eventually coalesce into supermassive black holes at the center of galaxies. Such giants, millions to billions of times the mass of the Sun but comparable in size, are thought to exist at the heart of most galaxies. On the other hand, smaller stars, when they exhaust their fuel, can lead to the formation of stellar black holes compressing their matter into an extremely dense core. Don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel for more amazing science videos thank you.